What if I told you that every time you ask ChatGPT a question, you're using enough electricity to power your gaming PC for 20 minutes? And that's just the tip of the iceberg. The AI arms race between the US and China isn't just about who has the smartest robot. It's about who can literally keep the lights on. Stick around, because what you're about to learn will change how you think about every AI tool you use. Think about this. GPT, Claude, Gemini, and Grok. They're all running 24-7 in massive data centers that make Amazon warehouses look like garden sheds. These digital beasts are hungry, and their appetite for power is growing exponentially. We're talking about energy consumption that would make a Bitcoin mining operation blush. To understand just how insane this is, let's break down what it actually takes to train just one large language model. And trust me, the numbers are going to blow your mind. Part 1. Training GPT-5, the energy monster. Let's talk about OpenAI's GPT-5. And no, these companies don't exactly advertise their energy bills. So we're working with some educated estimates here. Picture this, a 1.7 trillion parameter model. That's trillion with a T. To put that in perspective, that's more parameters than there are stars in our galaxy. This beast was trained on 13 trillion tokens of data. That required, get ready for this, 20 septillion floating point operations. That's a 20 followed by 24 zeros. Your brain literally can't comprehend that number. To pull this off, OpenAI likely fired up 25,000 A100 GPUs. Each one of these bad boys pulls 400 watts. That's like running a high-end gaming rig at full throttle. Stack 25,000 of them together, and you're looking at a power draw that would make your local utility company sweat bullets. The training? Three months straight, non-stop, 24-7. That's like leaving 25,000 gaming PCs running Cyberpunk 2077 on ultra settings for 90 days straight. Now here's where it gets interesting. You can't just throw 25,000 GPUs in a warehouse and call it a day. That would be like trying to coordinate 25,000 people to cook one meal. The real challenge? Making these GPUs work together efficiently. This is where things get technical, but stay with me. This is the cool part. Part two, the three-layer parallelization strategy. NVIDIA groups their chips in squads of eight, kind of like a SEAL team for computing. These eight A100 GPUs sit together in what's called an HGX server. Imagine a gaming rig on steroids that costs more than a Lamborghini. One of these HGX servers pulls three to six kilowatts. For reference, that's enough to power your entire house during peak summer AC usage. The H, 100s, and B, 200s, they're pulling over 10 kilowatts. That's like running five electric ovens simultaneously. These eight GPUs talk to each other using something called NVLink. Think of it as the world's fastest group chat, but for math operations. When you need to multiply two massive matrices, 100,000 by 100,000, these eight GPUs split the work like a perfectly coordinated pit crew at NASCAR. But why stop at one server? Here's where it gets clever. GPT-5 has about 120 layers of neural networks. Imagine it like a 120-story building where each floor processes information differently. Instead of trying to connect thousands of GPUs directly, which would be like trying to coordinate a conference call with 25,000 people, they divide the model into 15 pipelines. Each pipeline gets its own HGX server. It's like having 15 different assembly lines, each handling eight floors of our 120-story building. Simple math. 15 pipelines times 8 GPUs equals 120 GPUs, running one instance of GPT-5. But wait, we said OpenAI has 25,000 GPUs. What about the other 24,880? This is where it gets wild. They replicate GPT-5 about 200 times. That's right, 200 copies of the same model, all training simultaneously on different chunks of data. It's like having 200 identical factories, all building the same product, but using different raw materials. At the end, they average out all the learning from these 200 copies. Boom, you've got one super trained model that's learned from 13 trillion pieces of information. Part three, the shocking energy bill. Ready for the gut punch? Training GPT-5 consumed approximately 44 gigawatt hours of electricity. Let me put that in terms you can visualize. 
That's enough to power a city of 50,000 people for an entire month. Or run your house for about 4,000 years. Or charge your iPhone every day for 12 million years. And remember, that's just one model. Every dot on those AI development charts represents another small city's worth of monthly energy consumption. We're literally burning through electricity like it's going out of style. Part four, deployment, where the real energy drain happens. Here's the plot twist nobody talks about. Training is actually the cheap part. The real energy vampire running these models for users like you and me. ChatGPT has over 700 million weekly active users. That's twice the population of the United States, all asking questions, generating images, and writing code. The platform handles 2.5 billion prompts per day. Each query you make, about 0.3 watt hours. Doesn't sound like much, right? Wrong. Multiply that by 2.5 billion, and you're looking at 750 megawatt hours per day. That's enough to power 25,000 homes for a full day, every single day. Over 90 days, deploying GPT-5 for actual use consumes 67 gigawatt hours. That's 50% more than what it took to train the thing in the first place. And companies aren't just running one model. Anthropic runs Claude Opus, Claude Sine, plus all their legacy models. Google's got Gemini Pro, Ultra, Nano. It's an all-you-can-eat buffet of energy consumption. All those GPUs generate heat, massive amounts of it. Data centers measure this with something called PUE, power usage effectiveness. For every watt used for computing, you need about 0.2 additional watts just for cooling. That's a 20% surcharge on your already insane energy bill. Our 44 gigawatt hour training, it's actually 52.8 gigawatt hours. That deployment energy, jump it from 67 to 80 gigawatt hours. These facilities need industrial grade cooling systems that would make a meatpacking plant jealous. Part five, the energy arms race. The scramble for power is real and it's happening right now. XAI, Elon's baby, bought 30 methane turbines to power their Memphis facility. They're literally building their own power plants because the grid can't keep up. Local governments are losing their minds over permits and environmental concerns. OpenAI is planning something called Stargate, a five gigawatt facility that could power 400,000 next-gen GB 200 GPUs. 20% of the size that it'll eventually be a little bit less than that. And this is what it takes to deliver ChatGPT. Uh, you know, when you ask ChatGPT something, it gives you an answer. You don't really think about what goes into that. And it's a huge amount of work. That's enough electricity to power San Francisco, the entire city. Meta said, screw it, to the traditional grid and is building natural gas power plants. Zuckerberg's not waiting for anyone. Google is expanding hyperscale data centers nationwide, but hitting massive pushback from utilities who are basically saying, dude, we literally don't have enough power for this. Meanwhile, lawsuits are flying everywhere. Environmental groups, local governments, utility companies. Everyone's lawyering up. While American companies fight red tape and NIMBY protests, China's playing a completely different game. Their state-controlled energy sector means they can build whatever they want, wherever they want, whenever they want. The numbers are staggering 609 gigawatts of solar installed by 2023, that's more than the entire US solar capacity, 441 gigawatts of wind power, 27 nuclear reactors currently under construction, some experts say China has an oversupply of energy. While Silicon Valley fights over every megawatt, China's building capacity like they're preparing for an alien invasion. Whoever controls the energy controls the future of AI, period. Part six, the future energy apocalypse. In 2023, data centers consumed 176 terawatt hours in the US. That's 4.4% of our entire electricity consumption. By 2030, projections show 8 to 10% of all American electricity going to data centers. Let that sink in. One out of every 10 watts generated in America could be feeding the AI beast. Your electric bill isn't going down anytime soon, folks. The good news? Engineers are scrambling to make this more efficient. New GB 200 GPUs are faster and more efficient than the old A100s. Mixture of experts models that only activate parts of the neural network. Quantization techniques that compress models without losing performance. Speculative decoding that predicts multiple tokens at once. But here's the harsh reality. Efficiency improvements are linear, while AI model growth is exponential. 
Here's what this all means for you. The AI revolution isn't just about who has the smartest algorithms or the best training data. It's about raw, industrial-scale power generation. Every time you use ChatGPT, Claude, or any AI tool, you're part of an energy consumption pattern that's reshaping global infrastructure. The companies that win won't necessarily be the ones with the best tech. They'll be the ones who can literally keep the lights on. The next time someone tells you AI is the future, ask them, yeah, but who's paying the electric bill? This energy crisis is just beginning. We're watching the biggest infrastructure race since the space race. Except this time, it's not about reaching the stars. It's about having enough juice to power the machines that might replace us. What do you think? Is America falling behind in the energy race? Are we heading for an AI-induced blackout? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. And if this video opened your eyes to the hidden cost of AI, hit that subscribe button because the rabbit hole goes way deeper than this. Next week, we're diving into how crypto mining and AI are literally fighting over the same power plants. You won't want to miss it. Until then, maybe think twice before asking ChatGPT to write your grocery list. Your planet will thank you.